Thank you for watching this video. In this channel, you and I will be reviewing different cars and learn at the same time. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider joining us. If you are a subscriber, please click the like button. Thank you. Hi everybody. Thank you for returning to the channel. Today I am here in Nissan Tai Tai from Auto Hub and I'm going to review the Urban Premium. So in this dealership you have sales, service, parking, parts and pickup. So in case you didn't know that there was a Tai Tai Nissan branch, if you have any question inquiry or if you want the best deal please don't forget to give them a call and the call details are listed in the description below hi welcome to nissan tai tai and my name is borge you can contact me at my mobile number it's 0956 791 2355 hi everybody today i'm going to review another urban for the Urban, but this time it's the premium variant, the top of its class. And it can accommodate 15 people. The key fob looks like this. So this car does come with the keyless entry, close and open. So this is how the key fob looks like. It also has the alarm button and there's the Nissan emblem so let's start from the headlight the headlight as you can see has a clear glass over it and this is the light for like a fog lamp it comes together with it we have the turn signal lamp and the headlight lamp which is in halogen here's another fog lamp down here with the clear glass and a halogen lamp and what I like is that this vent is actually functional. And when you come here to the center, you can see the V-Motion chrome finished grill. With the honeycomb style, the huge Nissan logo. And the finishing here for the bottom of the grill is in carbon fiber design. And also in this part, wherein you can have plenty of air being sucked inside for the inner system of this car. A place for your car plate, a place for your tow hook, goes the same on the left side, the headlamp, the combination lamp, and also the fog lamp. As you see this car, you'll definitely notice that it is a lot higher than other vans out there especially when you put them side by side so this is the non premium variant and this is the premium variant you see how much difference of the headroom space it has I think they call it the bubble ceiling I'm not really sure about that but something like that and looking at the wipers you have a normal two blade wipers and this is for the nozzles for the windshield uh, liquid or washer. So you have one and two. And then the glass, the angle is like a 60 degree or something like that. It's not too straight that it will resist all the wind. Let's check out the side mirror. So normal side mirror, uh, the adjustment is also normal. So it's not a powered mirror. Okay, and we have the antenna, and this is how the premium variant looks like from the side. And let's look at the tire. So this tire, or the wheel, it's not an alloy wheel, it's a steel wheel, there. And it has the wheel cap, 
or cover on it. And if you want to change it to a an alloy wheel, you can also do that. This is a 15 inch. So the tires are a bit tiny for this huge vehicle. And looking in the wheel well, so it has the splash guard and also it's been finished with anti-rust. It's a disc brake inside the wheel. So let's go to the side and the window. You can slide to open this one and also this one. So the car has plenty of windows. So the wheel at the back is also with steel tire or steel wheel. It's also 15 inch and it is a drum brake. Here's the wheel well and it has the leaf spring over there. And we can also see that there's a spare tire over there. So coming to the back, this is how it looks like. Let's take a closer look. Rear combination lamp has the brake light, turn signal, reverse light, and the reflector. Defoggers. That's a nice wiper. That's hidden right there. And the top mount brake light with the washer nozzle. NV350 badge or the emblem with Urban. This is the very important part. It says premium. A place for your plate, the latch to open the rear gate, and we have lights for the plate number. And this area is also finished in chrome and you have a keyhole right there and a Nissan logo as well. Let's try to open it and you see there's a place here where you can step on. Let's open it. It's not powered. It's so big. It's so huge. The size of this rear gate is so huge. And the, this is the opening latch. And lock and unlock. You can see the defroster or anti-fogger or defogger. This is how it looks like. And this is a 15 seater. If you want, if you need cargo space, here are the instructions on how to fold and unfold them. <laughs> and as you can see, there's a blue ribbon type of thing that you can pull to make the seats fold. Maybe I will try it now. All right, so the first thing to do is to fold. You have to fold the backrest first. I think you should remove the headrest, then the entire thing will go up like that. So this one place you can step on so that when you are loading items, you can go up. So this is how it looks like from outside. Plenty of air vents, plenty of lights, which is a must. The headroom is amazing. Okay, let's close it. So for it to close, there's no handle. You just need to close it like that. So this is the place where you have the gas cap. And this car only has one sliding door, which is on the right side. And here is the glide for the sliding door. So let's open the door and see it open. And this is how it looks like with the door open. Now let's try to get inside and check out the interior from the inside. So there's something here. Let me try to open it. Uh, I opened it but there's really nothing inside. There's nothing written on it. So let me just put it back and close. <laughs> and also there, I'm not sure what it is. If you guys know what it is, please put them in the comment section below and teach us masters. Right. Look at this sliding door, it has a lot of things, like metallic things, child lock, child safety, there's like a bushing, 
There you go. I love this one. It's a grab handle for you to get inside much better. It's really nice. The seats are fixed. This is a 15 seater. Only the last row for the four people can be folded, but they fold sideways like the Fortuner. Let me go inside. Let me close the door. Let me also turn off the lights. Okay, I think for me to turn on this last row light, I need the engine to be turned on. It says made in Japan. So I'm here in the last row. And this is how it looks like. The seats are amazing. They're so soft. They're in, they're not leather wrapped, but they're in fabric. But the headrests are really soft and comfy. And it feels like a minivan, mini bus. The best part about this van are the air vents. Really, you have one per person. One per person, I'm not even kidding. So the last row is good for four people. The fourth row, so I'm on the fifth row, that's the last row. On the fourth row, you have three people. One, two, three. Second row, you have one, two, three. Yeah, and the next row, yeah. <laughs> But in this row, you only have two seats, but you have four vents. Wow, how nice is that? This is how it looks like from the center seat, from the front row. Can you imagine this? I cannot completely stand up, but I don't really need to bend down so much to move around in this van. And I'm enjoying my stay inside. The seats uh, have levers that you can control the uh, the backrest. Let me show you. Wow, and you can recline it that much. That's safe. Let me try to, wow, this is safe. I think I'll be sleepy in no time. And what I notice again, the back of the seats, you have pouches and also individual cup holders and grab handles. This is really great. You have cup holders, cup holders. So only this particular seat doesn't have a cup holder, while others they have. Hmm, I wonder why. Okay. The headliner is in fabric. This side is also fabric. This is plastic. This is plastic. This is glass. The floor matting is fabric. And the second row has bottle holders and a compartment for your newspaper. And this sliding uh, window is really amazing. You can just fold it. You can just pinch it like this and slide that way. You can even open it more. It's so cool because from the outside it looks flat so it it opens inwards that's really nice you have the air condition vents and the control here for the rear ah it's really really nice here let me move my bag and looking at the dashboard this is how it looks like Uh, I will show you some more in front, but let me show you the sun visor. It doesn't have a mirror. And on the passenger side, it also doesn't have a mirror. This is a van. And the rear view mirror is just standard. And you have map lights, individual map lights for the front. So let me go to the passenger side and the driver's side. It's a normal door handle and there's a keyhole. 
So there's a key inside which makes it noisy. I'll let it go. So checking the door panel. These are hard plastic all around. And there's a bottle holder and there's a compartment here. And the armrest area is also hard plastic. The window power button area is hard plastic with pattern. And the driver's side is automatic while the passenger side is just a powered window so it looks like that but this panel is finished in fabric so this is a white color van there's the main speaker this is how it looks like from the outside we almost forgot the door handle is finished in nice chrome. Let's climb in. But first, before we close the door, so there's a compartment here. This is the button for the gas cap release. And this engine heat button works when the engine is on. And it increases the RPM to make the engine warm up faster during cold times. But I don't think there's a need for that one in the Philippines. There's a blank space here, the aircon vent here, the brake and the accelerator, and wow, there's a cover for the steering rod. That's good. And we have our floor mats made of fabric. So there's a grab handle here which makes it easier to climb it because this is a really, really Tall vehicle. So again, this is the dashboard, and this is the top of the dashboard, and this is the instrument cluster. Let me show you how it looks like. So there's an LCD, engine temperature, fuel, tachometer and the speedometer for your instrument cluster brightness and also you can control to different options once the engine starts. So when I turn on the light, it has that illumination. It's very, very nice. There you go. I can control the brightness of the LCD. So this car has manual lights and the turn signal, manual wipers, that's SRS airbag in the driver's side. Also, you have an airbag on the passenger side. Total of four air vents. One, two, three, four. They're similar with the Terra and not really similar. It's very soft and nice. It's easy to control. You have your audio system with CD. And you also have something hidden here says snow. This must be for the traction in winter times. Before we forget, the handle is controlled manually with this lever right here. Okay. So this variant is the top variant from the premium and this is the top of the top because you see this one has a an automatic transmission. Hazard manual air condition control which i really love which is no brainer rear cooler button for the aircon for the back also you can find this in the terra you have a blank for something else we have hidden cup holders here two of them which is very nice let's open the glove box there is the hook for your towing it's very spacious down there and let's close it and there's no lock for this one though. Okay. And in front you can sit three people. So the person in the middle can fit in here. Uh, I think you might get a bit irritated because of these things, but they managed to cover it with a cover so that you won't be hurt from the knobs or the bolts. There's your 12 volt and here's your ashtray. And down there, you also have bottle holders. Very deep, guys. And there's also something here. 
Oh, there's an air vent here to cool your bottle. Nice. You can open and close them. You cannot see them well, but there is. Okay. At least the transmission area is uh, metal silver finished, which makes it a uh, standout because everything else is just plastic. There's a handle there. This is how it looks like from the driver's seat. Let me just climb to the passenger seat to show you other stuff. Look how big the glove box is. And this is the tow hook. <laughs> it's so heavy. The airbag, the air vent, bottle holder, compartment. It's also in plastic, just the same with the other side, but also comes with a chrome handle. Very nice. Uh, for the seat here, you cannot control the the butt area forward and backward but you can just control the backrest it also comes with a grab handle how about this one can the seat yes the driver's seat can be moved forward and backward and the side brake it's the traditional one oh there's so thank you everybody for watching if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to like the video and subscribe and click the notification button for more and if you have any inquiries, the detail of the dealership is down in the description. Please give them a call or a text or a PM through uh, Facebook and other social media platforms out there. Thank you again Nissan Tai Tai for giving me the opportunity to film this wonderful vehicle. Please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Thank you everybody. May your dreams come true.